Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. This is Rantry, and I wanted to just make a short little video about the Crimson Curse, how to get it, and what it does, and the different states, and things like that. So first of all, uh, different enemies, certain enemies, and certain attacks from certain enemies can give you the Crimson Curse. Specifically, I know that the Supplicant and the Sycophant but there may possibly be others uh, further in the game that could also give you the Crimson Curse. And once you're cursed, uh, it will say passive, or kind of the normal state of the curse is passive. And this gives you some debuffs. It's a negative 5% to your stun, blight, and bleed resistance, negative 10% to your max HP, negative one, or I'm sorry, plus one speed, and um, negative 10 virtue chance. So. It's not great. It's not the worst thing in the world. Probably that negative 10 max HP is arguably the worst part. Uh, but it does give you a little bit of speed, so it's not the worst thing in the world. If you don't uh, get blood uh, for a while, you will the, the character will become will go from a passive state to a craving state, and all of the uh, the debuffs to your resistance will double, so negative 10% to stun blight and bleed resistance, and the negative max uh, HP, negative 10% stays, uh, but you do get uh, plus 2 speed, and the negative 10% uh, virtue chance stays. And in this state, uh, sometimes if you're interacting with curios, they can say, ooh, is there blood in there or something, and they may give other members of your party uh, stress. And if you don't, um, if you don't give them any blood while they're craving, they go into a state called wasting, and then they get a negative ten percent uh, death blow resist. And if they don't get any blood when they are wasting, they can eventually die from it. I've heard. I have not tested that myself. Um, but generally, when they get to the craving stage, you want to give them some blood, and blood drops. Somewhat rarely from, from enemies. They mainly seem to be the type of enemies that, that you find in the courtyard, the bloodsuckers. Uh, and make sure you do not give the blood to someone with the curse. Only give the blood to someone who has the curse and is craving the blood. If you do that, then they will go into a state called bloodlust. And this is actually pretty awesome. You get a plus 25% damage bonus and plus 40 your speed and a plus 15% stun, blight, and bleed resistance. Uh, so it's actually a pretty strong buff. Um, the downside of that is that they can do various things almost like an affliction, not every turn and kind of not even very often, but they can say things to stress out other party members. They can attack other party members, although every time they've done that to my party... It, the damage has been fairly negligible, but they can den deny heals and take kind of random actions on their turn, and you may lose control of them for a turn or something. Uh, that is all I have personally seen. But after the bloodlust wears off, um, and it will wear off after, after I think it's a time uh, thing. It's not like a certain number of battles or anything, uh, but it seems to wear off, you know, relatively quickly. Um you know, uh, but all of these states, the, the, the passive craving, wasting, they all apply to heroes in dungeons and also in the town. So if you have somebody in a passive state in the town, they can go from passive to craving to wasting. And I have heard that if you have any blood in your inventory in town, they, they may, they may drink it if they go into a craving state. Um, I haven't monitored my blood closely enough to notice that, but uh, there you go. That's, the, that's basically the long and the short of the Crimson Curse. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.